friends, welcome back to 10 Count. I'm Steve Fall. On today's edition, I might need a microphone to sing a song. Come talking to Maggie Dino. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm a good. Yay. <laughs> this Hi. is this is going to be amazing. We have translators all involved with this as well. So there's going to be a lot of voices you hear in the background, but we're going to have a good time. Talk about some wrestling. Talk about some fun. First question, though, is why do you like to sing to the ring? Because I love it. はい、一番最初の質問ですが、どうして入場時にあの歌を歌っていますが。ああ、えっと、ま、私がずっとアイドルをやっていて、ま、それはいろいろあって、首になったんですけど、でもま、あの、初心を忘れたくないなということで、プ
出れなくなったので、それはどういうことですかもしあのビザの問題ですかそれとも他の理由はあるでしょうかえー、わかんない。<笑>わかんないです。でも、そうですね。当時、あの、ビザはなかったですね。最近、今年入ってビザができました。So she doesn't actually know the reason why she wasn't on TV at all. Like, you know, maybe it's just, you know, the AEW booking. She's not very sure. But because she didn't really have like a proper, like, you know, like working visa because, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of process to get a person there for a long time, right? But recently, thanks to the, the team at AEW, she got a visa for, you know, more long term appearances. So who knows? Maybe, you know, next time. Oh, man. I want to see you versus Hater. The AEW Women's Championship. That's what I want. I think that's what all <laughs> the fans want to see you holding the gold above your head as champion, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes down. But when you do come to AEW, what's your relationship like with the owner, Tony Khan? Because other wrestlers I have spoken to, they have such a close relationship with Tony Khan. What's yours? はい、やっぱり、まあ、AEW と言ったら、まあ、トニーカーン社長ですね。で、まあ、いろんな選手とトニカンの関係は、まあまあ、すごい仲良しと見えるのですが、えっと、伊藤選手にとってはトニカン社長とのなんか関係とかはありますか特になんか仲良しとか、あんまり喋れないんですか<笑>あんまり喋んないですね。あの、彼はとても忙しいので。でも、なんかあのホテルでエレベーターとかでたまにすれ違うんですけど、その時にあの試合良かったよとか言ってくれることはありますね。はい。So she doesn't really have the opportunity to speak to Tony Khan often,、oh. but you know, of course, he's a very, very busy man. He's always running、yeah. around backstage. But once in a while, when they happen to like a cross pass at like a, the elevator lobby, he was like, oh, your match is really great. Yeah. Nice, nice. I wish you guys would <laughs> go out on a karaoke and have a little karaoke together, maybe someday. We'll have to wait and see.、Uh, fingers crossed. Christmas presents, put、mm -hmm. that underneath the tree for me. But who is your dream opponent in AEW? Because again, you've been involved with so many different types of matches, tag team matches, tournaments. Who is the opponent that you want to take on the most? I think it's a dream match. うーんやっぱり私はオレンジキャッシュリーがすごい好きなんですよ。だから戦ってみたいなって思ってます。So yes, definitely she wants to face Orange Cassidy. It's one person she really would like to go against in the future. Wow. Oh, you versus Orange Cassidy. I like this. This smells like money to me. It's money on the table. We got to get that going. Tony Khan! Come on! Make it, make it happen! <laughs> We need to get it going. Though you are involved with、uh, TJPW, and this is one of the biggest wrestling companies going in the entire world right now, how does this organization stand out from all the other wrestling companies that exist? Hi, ma, eh, to, ma, Sikai Juni, Irona, Pro Res Dantaiga, Atte, Ano, Tokyo Joshi Pro Res, no, Miryoku, a Nan de Shoka? うんそうですね。東京女子プロレスの魅力は、やっぱみんなキャラクターがすごい、なんだろう、あの、あって、すごい個性豊かなのと、あのー、あまりこう、殺伐としてないところですかね。なんか、だ,だいたい他の団体は、まあ、ヒールがいて、とか、なんか裏切りがあってとかあるかもしれないですけど、ここはそういう悲しいことはないですね。なんか夢の国みたいな感じです。ディズニーランドみたいな。はいうん、ディズニーランドですね。<笑> so, um, well, unlike you know, most different promotions, like、uh, the uniqueness of Tokyo Joshi, so you know, everyone has a very solidified character that everyone stands out in their own way. There is a variety of such characters, and you know, compared to other promotions, like say maybe.、Um, AW or like other bigger promotions, there's not much like you know, people like fighting to the death of blood buff. It's uh, not we don't really see much like heels and people betraying each other.、Mm. It's like you know, everybody's like kind of close to each other. It's kind of like a, a dreamland similar to, I guess, Disneyland. I like it, I like it. So,、mm. now, how do you feel like you stand out amongst the bunch? Because if everyone has a character that jumps out at them, how do you feel your presence is felt on those programs? はい。まあ、えっ、ー、と、まあ、個性豊かキャラが溢れるんじゃないですか。
。で、伊藤選手にとっては、はい、その個性あふれるキャラクターの中にどうやって目立ちますかああ、だからもうみんな、みんなやってることはやらないにつきますね。あの、同じフィールド、同じフィールドで戦わないっていうことです。Right. So, you know, obviously, the one thing to, to do to stand out compared to everybody else is do what everybody else d o n t So, you know, <laughs> she challenges, she fights, fights on a different like, playing field compared to everybody else. Nice. I like it. I like、mm-hmm. it so much. And now, with <clears throat> wrestling from across the world in America, it feels like sometimes it's hard to bring over new companies from different countries into America. How do you feel like、uh, TJPW can come to America more often and be part of this new wrestling revolution that's happening right now? Yeah, 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 yeah,
So you seem to be very into uh, intergender wrestling. And, and again, I'll bring it up. In America, it seems like this is a, a, a shunned upon on national TV. Why are you so open to the fact that you want women versus men? Is that because, again, on American national TV, it's kind of like shunned upon, which I don't understand why. Why are you so open to this? Why do you love intergender wrestling? Well, of course, Orange Cassidy and Suzuki Minori are インタージェンダープロレスをやってみたいという声はあの聞きますが、どうしてインタージェンダープロレスをやってみたいですか、まあ、アメリカでは普通にテレビはあんまり見れないし、まあ、ちょっと批判はあるんですけど、うん、どうしてそんな道をあの歩きたいんですかえっと、なんかオレンジキャッシリーとか鈴木みのるを私はなんか男だとして見てなくて、なんか選手としてしか見てなくて、だからその、何、男対女って、いう構造を今,し今逆に知ったぐらい全然意識してなかったんですよ。で、あのーまあ、やっぱり私はなんか単純にその2人はとても面白いからっていう理由で戦いたいだけなんですよね。で多分女の中で私が多分面白いと思える人が今いないから多分そうなってるんだろうなって思います。はい。So, you know,、uh, whether if it's Orange Cassidy or Minoru Suzuki, you no, know, she doesn't really see them as like, you know, a male opponent. She sees them as wrestlers.、Okay. And, you know, that's what, that's what her, her, her state of mind is when she, wants, when she says she wants to fight these people. So, you know, she just thinks that these two people, are, like these two wrestlers, are really interesting people to go against. So, perhaps maybe it's because there's not really any like female wrestlers right now that really stands out that she wants to go against right now. Wow. All right. All right. I love it. I love it. I love the open mindedness to it because, again, yeah, it's so, so different here in the States where it's like, oh, men and women can't wrestle, but on TV shows, they can fight each other like superheroes. But on wrestling, somehow that's too real, which is very bizarre to me.、Uh, though recently,、uh, Pro Wrestling Illustrated had their 150 top women wrestlers of the year, number 37. You were number 37、ah. on that list. How does that make you feel? Because out of 150 women, You're up there on the list, pretty high up. How does it make you feel? I am a pro wrestling illustrated no, a no, Joshi ranking no, Sanju no, I wa, do this car. So, to kuna can so, yeah, that's a chut, Kyonen no hoga, yokata no de, ranking ochitan this yo. Lakara, Amari Kotoshi wa, not to quit the nakte, and then Nisan Nijo Sanen wa, moto, we need to tell this name. So actually, she kind of fell down the rankings compared to the last year,、oh. and she's not really like satisfied about that. So, you know,、mm -hmm. in 2023, she's going to make a comeback. She's going to aim for an even higher position for the ladies' PWI. Right. I, I think the, if the, the number going down a little bit is because of your absence from at least from American TV. But yes, people from stardom, though, were like number one and number three, I think,、mm -hmm. number five. So obviously, there was. Maybe just you missing from American TV was the reason that you maybe moved down. I still think 37 is a great number. So uh, uh, that's why I brought it up. I didn't want to bring up hard feelings about how you, you maybe moved down a little bit on that list, though. But I'm, I'm so excited, though, for what you have coming up and what is going to happen next for you in 2023. Where is the beginning of your huge run here in AEW winning that women's championship? <laughs> はい、まあ、えー、と今年もいろんな活躍ができて結,結果、まあ、37位ですが、まあ、来年はどうするかわからないでしょうね、えーとまあ、AW のまたあの上がる可能性もありますし、まあ、その前にあの伊藤真希の2023年の目標はずばり何でしょうかそうですね、東京女子その日本の目標だと東京女子でまたベルトを取る。っていうこと私はタックベルトがいいなって思ってるんですけど、はい、そのタックベルトを、まあ、取りたいなっていう目標と海外だったらやっぱりまた AW に出たいなっていうこととやっぱなんかいつもなんかやっぱ AW ってもう尺が短いからいつもなんかこうあんまりインパクト残せないからその、まあ、もし出れた際にはちゃんとあのなんていうんですかインパクトを残したいなって思ってます。はい、そう、you know for for her aims in 2023 in Japan she wants to get a title belt obviously and you know she feels like maybe a tag team title belt will be really nice just about now 
Where for America, obviously, you know, she wants to go back to being on AEW television again. And as you know, you know, there's only so much time you have available on uh, American TV, and you can't really leave much of an impact due to how much, you know, how much time span they only get to be on TV. So she definitely wants to leave a big enough impact so that everybody will remember the name of uh, Maki Ito. Oh man, I I am excited for 2023 Maki Ito because Tokyo Joshi, you have AEW, there's so much happening in your career and it's only going up next year. Not 37 on the PWI, number one on the PWI, <laughs> number one, number one, number, number one. one, number one. That's right, folks. That's right. That's going to happen. But I got to say, it has been an honor. It has been a privilege. I am so happy that I was able to sit down and talk to you today. Maki Ito, thank you so much for being here, talking to me about you wrestling, so your AEW run, Tokyo Joshi. There's so much happening. And as we mentioned already, number one. Number one. Number one. I've been Seafall. This has been Tank Count. She's in Makito. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.